right, we are here with Palmquist Mayor David Alfin. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mayor Alfin. Well, I appreciate the invitation to come to this media spin room tonight. <laughs> and the first thing I want to say is I hope that the public is coming out and enjoying a chance to meet all of our candidates. I feel very, very comfortable in the fact that one of my early decisions in the term was to try to build a new city council with younger, fresher, more vibrant ideas for the future. And I think if you look at the candidates out there, you'll find that the average or median age of candidates has decreased dramatically. So I'm very proud of what the future may hold if you all will come out and vote. So we want to talk to people. Why should people vote for you? So four basic things. Number one, first of all, grew up in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, love Florida. But I believe and I've lived all over these United States that the city of Palm Coast is my favorite city in the entire country. For sure, the best city in all of Florida. So my theme for my campaign is to protect Palm Coast. Protect Palm Coast. So how do we do that? We can continue to invest with the sheriff to make sure that we continue to be the second, if not the first safest city in all of Florida. Number two, we make sure we polish our infrastructure that's below us today and prepare it for the future, for future generations. Number three, we make sure that the tax burden is limited to the smallest liability we can for both the present residents and future residents as well. And all of that adds up to a quality of life which is unmatched anywhere else in Florida. So some of the other candidates have talked about attracting jobs, mm -hmm. attracting new industries. So let me stop you there. I love hearing that because I hear it all the time. What does that even mean? Here's the answer. If you want to attract jobs, what do people need more than anything else? A place to live. A place to sleep, right? <laughs> now, if they don't have a place to sleep, what's going to happen? They can't live here. Right. If they can't live here, they can't work here. So there's a three-legged stool always. So you've got to have a place for them to live, which means a place that they can afford. Then you need a job for them, which is when the businesses come in, because now you have a workforce. Companies do not travel or relocate or move or add without a workforce in place. So we need younger, skilled professionals that can afford to buy a home here so they have a place to sleep, raise a family, so that the businesses will come and hire them. So it's three different legs of the stool have to kind of land at about the same time. That's my um, initiative. You know, and we're making that happen right now. Uh, what's the next step for us? So the next step for us um, is to focus our efforts on economic development by deciding exactly what kind of jobs we want to have here. You can talk about it all day long. You can pretend you're searching for, you know, the whole spectrum of jobs. We're going to narrow the focus. Right now we're looking at for healthcare professionals. And in addition to that, we'll be looking at some new special jobs that would cater to certain specific business sectors. I'm such a big fan of aerospace. Anything in the future about that? Absolutely. And as soon as I can disclose, I will. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> but it could be a 400 jobs. I would like that. That would be good. Absolutely. Uh, so really quickly, what is your favorite part of living in Palm Coast? So my favorite part is, uh, quite honestly, uh, I have a, a very special piece of property up in the northern end of town. And I get to uh, put my horses to sleep uh, in my backyard every night and wake them up every morning. So I have a rural existence in the beautiful city of Palm Coast. So I get both sides of it. I get to be in City Hall and also up in the rural north end of the, of the city. That's amazing. Thanks for stopping by. Pleasure.